Alright, good evening people. Corby here. And uh, right off the bat, take off the fog of war there. We've got a uh, little bit of a battle between uh, Hera and we got Daniel over here in the red. So, uh, let's just get right into it. So, uh, Daniel playing as the Incas in the red. I do not mind this map at all. Back stone, back gold. Obviously, as Incas, you want to have that back stone. Pretty easy wall off here. Not too bad. Uh, once we get into uh, Hera's base, playing as the Byzantines in the blue. Uh, all right, what are we looking at for wall off potential? He does also have uh, main gold as well as stone in the back and berries in the back. That is very good playing against Incas. I am hoping to see some sort of tower rush or something, some big aggression. For me, it's more entertaining, you know. Um, what uh, what can we expect out of these uh, out of these players? Well, obviously Byzantine, you're going to be looking at some sort of trash. Um, if he could get up to cataphracts, though, uh, there ain't much that the, uh, the Incas are going to be doing against fully upgraded cataphracts. Not sure if he'll get to that point. Obviously, as an Inca player, you want to be uh, you want to be playing a little bit uh, aggressive at the beginning if that's the uh, playstyle you're going for. Otherwise, you are uh, pretty much just playing the counter and both of these are natural counter civilizations obviously uh, Incas they can they can counter pretty much any unit in the game uh, cataphracts maybe the one of the few that it won't be able to counter um, but I guess uh, you know Kamiuks might be uh, might be a good call there so I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit uh, while we go through the dark age nothing uh, nothing too crazy going on here uh, we do have these uh, sheep. I'm not sure if he actually stole those two. Um, he might have. But they're just uh, going out, looking around for each other. Obviously, uh, Hera still looking around for uh, what his resources are, what sort of shape something he might have along the line. And uh, there we go. Daniel has, has now uh, found Hera. The wall off fails. Obviously, Hera. We all know how that player plays. He's always going for those wall offs, those quick walls. Uh, definitely, when you're in Harris shoes, you're fast enough. Why bother building walls? You know, build them, build them when they finish. That's about it. Ain't uh, ain't no reason to be rushing stuff through. Um, but what we do have here, a little bit of a militia rush. So, wonder what these, uh, whether these guys are going to go forward or build a mill out here. But uh, see how this drush goes. Obviously, the Incas, they are a little bit quicker to get up there. Uh, that is just, uh, just from the bonus. But um, see what happens. Obviously, nice. now he does have the uh, he does have vision of these militia. That's what I thought. So he, uh, Hera, he's not going to be too worried. Do a quick wall, wall the DC, and. Uh, it's doubtful that they uh, that they'll make it in, but you never know. Of course, uh, when you're when you're in Daniel's position, you got to play aggressive against a player like Hera. You gotta get him out of the element because when when Hera gets uh, playing the way he normally plays, there's no uh, there's no beating his micro. Uh, you know, he's he's easily top ten. Very, very difficult for uh, for anyone to be uh, to compete against that. Look at these quick walls. That is incredible. But my God, Daniel is thanking his lucky stars for that little breakthrough. Not too much damage, but what this Drush is doing is wasting a lot of time. Look at this idle villager. He's been idle for a while now. So. Look at the villager count. Daniel, obviously still in Dark Age. I'm thinking he's going for a fast castle or something there. He is fully walled up back at home. Well, he's nearly fully walled up, obviously. No need to worry about these guys yet. Um, and uh, Hera? Hera's going up. Looks like Hera's going uh, some little bit of a drush. That's just going to delay, delay a little bit. That's... Um, that's surprising about that drush. I did not expect that to be coming out so late. Uh, I'm thinking he might get... He is getting man-at-arms, so... That is going to be a man-at-arms attack. Byzantine man-at-arms. 
not the best in the game, but hey, if it throws the other player off, that's good. What do we got going on with Daniel? Yeah, that'll be no problem to wall off. Should be able to get that up easily. And uh, there you go. He is fully good to go. I tell you, though, these, some of these walls are far away from Ville, so if uh, Hera wants to break through, now's the time. He might be able to get through before, uh, before anything goes on. This this mill here is being uh, prepared pretty good. Uh, and uh, looks like Daniel will make it back in time. Yeah, no problem there. A little bit of panic, but uh, nothing to worry about too much. Daniel is he's going to be pretty comfortable in this position right now. But you know, Harry, he's just going to keep bothering, keep bothering, keep bothering. And that's it. I mean, this is a lot of wasted time. This villager has not done anything other than wall for minutes. And minutes count when you get to this level. So, now we got Daniel going up to feudal. Uh, still quite a bit behind, obviously, archers coming forward already from the Byzantine player. And uh, Daniel will be fine to wall off, but once a couple archers come here, there's nothing he's going to be able to do other than maybe a couple strategic gates, uh, lengthwise. Daniel running under the TC did not, uh, not think that one through too much. Not doing any damage, really. Maybe got one or two hits on one of these guys. What do we got looking at? And this is Hera. Oh, he's going for that wall, and he really wants these scouts and the, the scout and militia. There's a hole in this wall. Uh, Bill's going around, but unlikely. One thing that is annoying is uh, this man has been repairing for, for minutes on end. And uh, obviously that adds up. I think uh, Daniel can see this guy. And Daniel's got enough problems at home. Uh, trying his darndest to, uh, to wall this back up. Looks like looks like Hera might be able to just break through here. Um, obviously, not ideal at all for Daniel. Daniel still being a little bit obnoxious with this drush, and Hera is in. Let's see what goes on here. Uh, we got a couple skirms, but nothing to write home about. Against four archers and three uh, man at arms. Ooh, Hera doesn't run under the. TC that is good call uh, that is a good thing about these uh, mezzo civ well I guess uh, you know, this isn't a mezzo civ but it's a good thing about these eagle civs uh, they do have the, uh, the eagles right away this is uh, this is getting a little bit messy um, oof what is going on here? Hera does not notice, and his berries are gone. I think he lost a vill there. That is massive. But, retaliation force coming through, and uh, will he lose a vill here? Unlikely, but... Oh, it's happened. Whoa! Did not think that was going to happen. Thought these skirms would be able to get the defense, but I guess with this man-at-arms, that's uh, just a bit too much for these skirms to... Uh, to be handling right now. And he nice. is fighting with Vils. Uh, you know, not ideal, but if you're any Civ to be fighting with Vils, oof. It's gotta be the Incas. And uh, Daniel now falling behind Vil counts. Um, but Hera. Hera's really getting hurt. This uh, this rush is made. is completely worthwhile. Um, finally clearing up the base. Both bases now cleared. But if you look at Hera, I mean, his base is cleared, but nothing stopping anyone from running in here. Scout right under the TC. He does not care. He knows he's losing it anyways. So let's see what uh, what are we doing here? We're going forward with a couple vills, a couple scouts, skirms. Let's uh, let's see what comes out of here. Second archery range coming up for uh, Hera and. Uh, of course, oof, send the farm, that's good. When you're the Incas, you gotta be doing this this sort of play. 
You gotta keep these guys on the back foot because. Oh, and you gotta patrol for these situations. My God. Yeah, these uh, these archers. Depending on the. Uh, nah, with these eagles coming in, skirms and eagles should be able to clean this up. He's throwing a couple of archers in there, Daniel. That is good. And uh, where's he dropping this tower? Right here. Not a big fan of that tower location, but I think he was just thinking, let's get something up. Anything up. Alright. What's going to happen? I'm going to lose another villa here. Too shabby, not too shabby at all. Bam. What are we gonna do? Where's the next tower going? You're Daniel. Next tower's going here. I like this tower better. Ah, that is gonna stop. Uh, stop quite a bit. And obviously, going to Harrow's, Harrow's point of view, he does not have enough for uh, tower yet, but uh, he will very soon. Just three more stone, he's good to go. Pero? This tower is going to probably go down. No real surprise there. I would have liked a little bit of a wall off here for uh, for this guy there. Um, but these uh, these eagles just causing damage, being a pain in the ass. With the uh, taking them off that stone, that's huge right now. As uh, the rest of the villagers, they're going to loop around. And I'm I'm guessing he wants to place a tower somewhere in here. But that uh, this force here. That is a formidable force, and Hera is going up to Castle Age. He is 69% of the way up. Of course, that's uh, much faster than Daniel's going to be coming through. Now, if you're Daniel, what are you doing right now at home? Let's see. He's also going up to Castle. That's good. Oof. This tower was as safe as uh, Daniel probably would have been able to make it. And uh, still not safe enough. Yum. Luckily, I mean, when you're playing as the Incas, you're not that worried. But uh, he's going to be falling back as much as possible. Let's see uh, let's see what comes out. we got Bodkin on the way already for, uh, for the Skirms and Archers. And I didn't even see this sneaky Vil. I love it. What a pain Daniel is being. That is what you want to see out of the Incas. That is exactly what you want to see. And there's a mass exodus going on right now. Going for any sort of wood line. And it obviously is going to be the wood line over here. We uh, look at Hera. He is going uh, anywhere he can. He's going real far out actually. Where is he building this? Right here? Salve. Where are you building this, buddy? You try and rush down that tower there? Impero. Building this second TC. Actually, that's pretty good. Start a little base. Get a little bit of protection from that TC right before Daniel hits the castle age, so you know you're not going to be threatened too much. And uh, down goes this tower. That'll fall pretty quickly with the uh, the villas and the archers underneath there. But these two towers are just, they're just going to be a pain at this point. Wouldn't be surprised to see a tower here. I love, I love watching Inky games because uh, they just get so messy so quick. And boom, Daniel's found that TC. He is protected, obviously. Wouldn't be too worried. No one's running under a TC in Feudal Age. Well with Feudal Age Army that is, but these Eagle Scouts going to be uh, upgraded to Eagle Warriors and uh, we got a Siege Workshop on the way. Salve. There's going to be a couple massive shots hitting those guys right there. And then uh, here we go. Byzantine Castle. Cataphracts might be just coming out. Let's see what, uh, what Daniel's reaction to this is. 
I think his reaction is going to straight up just be make the castle there. I don't care. I'll take up this base over to the side. Maybe pick off one or two bills. Hera sending the whole town in. And what are we looking at? We're completely even for bills. Looking back at uh, Daniel's base, he's got his second TC up already, and uh, not sure if he's going to be looking for a third anytime soon. Doesn't look like it. He's a little bit, uh, a little bit low on resources, but he is doing a very good job at just disrupting the economy of Hera constantly. We got two mangonels coming up. We've got a lot of idols from Hera. Obviously, when you're playing against Hera, you want to get as many idols as possible. And here we go. There's the cataphracts. Cataphracts, such a strong unit, especially against something like an Eagle Warrior. Here's nothing that uh, that Eagle Warrior is going to be able to do. But uh, Daniel, he's not sticking with infantry. He is upgrading the crossbow. He's making a monk. Wonder if this is doing a little bit of a monk play. I wouldn't mind him getting uh, getting some of these relics. Obviously, it would be fairly uh, fairly easy for him to pick up a couple. Um, totally missed out on this. With all the action going on. There is uh, constant. All right. What do we got going on? Three cataphracts here. These bills. Not a chance in hell. But uh, this army alone, my this will this will push them away. So that's good. Daniel Daniel's playing really well. I'm uh, pretty impressed by his uh, his level right now. Obviously, playing against Hera, if you want to be looking good, it's tough to look good against Hera. He doesn't uh, he doesn't see anything here, but he knows. It'll be three TCs for Daniel, and he is getting a couple of relics. That's uh, you know it. It's so underrated the players that uh, that seek out these relics, add them up, Let's see what happens with the Mangonel uh, fight here. I'd be pretty scared if I was uh, seeing these cataphracts coming, because these cataphracts against these Mangonels, I'd split these Mangonels and uh, oof. nice, beautifully done. This is where, uh, this is where if you're, uh, if you're Daniel, you're, you're just looking to stay alive right now. No more mangonels. Thinking twice about it with cataphracts on there. And Daniel's, the name of the game is just take wood away. Look at it. Where's Eric collecting wood? He can't collect here. Can't collect here. You won't be able to collect here soon. This little base is everything. Some archers up here. If he can get enough, he can totally deny Hera. This is, uh, this is a master class of working like a boa constrictor. Taking out possibilities. You know, we're, we're seeing both of them. Uh, both of them have some, some idle vills going on right now. Hera does have more bills. Actually, that is uh, very surprising, actually. He's been on three CCs for, for what I believe to be less time. He's been building. He's had a disrupted economy. It seems like he's lost way more uh, eco, but... Um, well, I'm thinking, yeah, I suppose this uh, this TC got delayed, so I suppose this one was up a little bit, uh, a little bit earlier. But uh, Era losing, Era losing one or two vills. But I mean, look at look at the difference in Q. You know, uh, a couple vills. Well, I mean, I suppose only one vill queued up on uh, on either one. But uh, this is this is really the beauty of it right now. We got three mangonels. Oh, I'd hate to be in that battering ram right now. Beautiful attack grounds from Hera. He is, he's not going to lose a single one. Wonderful. Wonderful work there. Oh, 
Oh, oh these battering rams, they melt. Three different three different mangonels, that's uh there's no hope. Now four? That's about it. I tell you though, a couple conversions cataphracts. That uh that switches the game. Oh doesn't quite get the kill. Still got three HP on that baby. What do we got going on here? Oh he's gonna dun is he made the quick wall. Beautiful work, Daniel. Daniel has really improved over the last, uh, I guess even the last year or so. Does the attack ground, makes the shot. He's just going to sit there and wait. Not too shabby. Good micro from Daniel, especially. I mean, you're, you're playing against Hera. He's going to repair this. I don't think it's going to be fast enough. But who cares? He's losing two two vills a time. Look at all the vills that are just sitting here attacking. I'm saying that Hera has an 11 vill lead. That is massive. But Daniel's got 21 military to Hera's four. Let's see, uh, see if we have those one of those classic situations of uh, you know better eco, but uh, worse uh, worse military. These vills, Inca vill, look at this. One vill and two vills and they decide to fight five. All I know is if I was, uh, I love the spread out of Hera. Really, really well done. Damn, it's just going to be a bit of a pain. Five plus two versus eight plus two, obviously they can't get too close, but they uh, they can take out a couple of these uh, of these guys. we got three TCs still going for, uh, for Daniel. That's... Uh, Probably gonna be hit for for him. Can't imagine him going up to, to four or five, but I mean if you're if you're hair, that's uh, that's exactly what you're doing. And this Vill survived. I cannot believe that. What a pain Daniel is being. Hopefully gonna get a couple of uh Vill picks. I loses uh Daniel loses the Manganel there. Take a look. Oh, this wood line is brutal right now. No, guys, they're. What are you doing standing there? And there's a mangonel shooting right at you. But, that mangonel gone, that's massive. You get into this wood line, that's massive. This wood line's already getting disrupted. This wood line is. What are we looking at? Two, three. Oof. Drop in a castle. The name of the game has been Protected Castles. But these mangonels and these towers are going to cause a lot of problems for him. Especially with these crossbows, this castle might just get denied. <laughs> and that's not going to last, especially with that ram coming forward. Castle looks like it's going up. That is, uh, I mean, that's impressive for Daniel, but he is losing a lot making that castle go up. rough. And that villain in the back's finally dead. This castle's gonna buy a lot of room and my goodness was I wrong. There's that uh, fourth TC going up for Daniel. He is looking to expand as much as possible. Not sure if he, uh, if he knows he's behind economically. He thinks maybe these castles are setting the uh, setting the bar high. Um, it's always tough to tough to know for sure. Oh, never mind. He ain't building. He ain't building no TC. He's building a tower on a wood line. Name the. It's been. It's been the the deal of the day so far. Build a castle on the wood line. Build a castle on the wood line. Sorry. Build a tower on the wood line, not a castle. These guys block him out. Sixty-seven percent. Four cataphracts. Four bills. You know how that ends. Will it make it up? And if what? Oh, 98, 99. Oh, beautifully done. Obviously, no murder holes. Not seen very often. <laughs> These towers, especially as in, like, playing against the Incas, what a pain it is. Look at this. How do you, how do you compare that, right? Like, 3 plus 1, you got 3. You got plus 
I mean, it's it's such a pain dealing with these bills. And that bill lives. Got a little house going on up there. Tell you what though, Daniel hitting the Imperial Age. He's gonna go for our base. Arb Halb. That's gonna it's gonna be tough for uh, Cataphracts to deal with. Obviously Halb's Halb's versus Cataphracts. One of the weird uh, one of the weird situations because Cataphracts are cavalry. Um, however, they're also anti-infantry. Um, does make it one of those situations where you know, they, they both have a little bit of a bonus on each other, so it, it, it somewhat cancels out. Obviously, cataphracts in larger numbers, they're going to destroy it. But, here we go. Daniel, hitting Imperial Age first. Same amount of villagers. Hera's obviously taking the, the foot off the pedal for making those villagers now. Um, makes perfect sense. But, these castles, it's hard to push into it. Chemistry and Bracer coming in now. Arb coming in as well. These guys gonna go straight around. Pull this wall off happen in time. I mean, it's Hera. He's he's quick waller, but uh, still not fast enough. Neither of these houses make it up. I'm just getting rid of towers now. Clearing up that base so he can finally collect some of his starting wood. But this little ball, 17, that's uh, that's going to cause major, major delays. But uh, one mangonel popping out here might uh, it might change the whole situation, right? Alright, Daniel now ahead with four bills, but we're getting close to that position where uh, you know you, you want to be you want to be cutting it off. You want to be taking it away, uh, not building as many villagers because they're collecting fast enough for you to maintain an army, and uh, you you get up to a point where you don't want villas taking up population space when you get close to 200, right? Then you'll still have the much bigger military, but uh, I mean. 16 cataphracts, that's that's nothing to laugh at. We do have Kamiuks, we have Arbs. That's not enough here. We're gonna run in, attack, run out. Oh, oh I thought he was gonna run away. Or destroying that uh, that trap. These guys are gonna come around. Yeah, Harris run running from the wood line again. Raiding with pikemen. Don't don't see that very often now, do we? That's uh that was funny to see. This little base, I mean, it's probably not top priority right now. Top priority is going to be these guys over here. Even these guys here. But uh, this castle looks like it will go down. He is going to go start repairing a little bit. What uh, What are we looking at here? I, I don't think that's going to be fast enough repairs. There's two trebs already. There's going to be a third coming. He does have a trap of his own coming in, but see what happens. Great surround. Um, but not 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 sure what to expect of this. I mean I mean sure you're you're winning that battle, but the military is is silly. Any any number that uh, that Hera loses now. <laughs> How this little cam can make it through. Any number that uh, Daniel loses now is is much bigger because the army of Arbs and pikemen way easier to make. You don't need castles. What's Hera looking at for castles? He's just got the two now. He's not making much. He's making bombard cannons. I love the bombard cannon. One of my favorite. Uh, Every units in the game, but I mean, 
Cataphrac and Skirm, that, that denies anything that uh, Daniel's putting on the field right now. Question becomes, can Daniel just be so annoying and take away so many woodlands that it doesn't matter if he loses to this little army here. Daniel's taking out, uh, taking out this TC as well. Research and keep as you do. You're playing as uh, as Incas the way that Daniel's been playing as Incas. Keep help being just a pain. And look at this. These arms are gonna fall like crazy. They did take out quite a few of the skirms, but never enough. I'd like to see a couple conversions. Uh, I think you know two conversions that could have turned around that fight for sure. This castle here trying to get it up in time. I don't think this is making it up with this tower. It's just not happening. We do have this bombard can being again just just a pain in the ass. And Hera calls the GG. This was the this was the uh, the final uh, the final go of it. Let's see what we had. This little army cleaned up. Same time, this castle denied. He tried to run forward, but I mean, there's already a cap ram in there. We know how that ends. Well, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Take a quick look at the stats. Daniel ahead and pretty much everything. Obviously, society. That's going to be from these castles <laughs> ahead and everything else with society. But uh, great game. Good to see a player like Daniel coming up and, uh, and beating Hera. Obviously, that two years ago, that would never happen. So, beautiful game, well played, and uh, I'll catch you next time.